Hello everyone, it's Oliver from Minerva and this is a pattern haul video for Thread Theory Design. Today we're going to be sharing with you 10 sewing patterns by Thread Theory Designs, pairing them with our top fabric picks to give you the inspiration on your next sewing project. We have a selection of different sewing patterns today, all that vary in different difficulty. So whether you are a first time sewer or a more experienced maker, there is sure to be something to suit everyone's needs. So up first, we have the Fairfield button-up shirt sewing pattern. Now this is listed as an intermediate skill level. It's a button-up shirt with all of the classic details and a modern, moderately slim fit. So as you can see, there are a lot of details that you can work with here. And if you are more of an intermediate skill level, it's definitely something that will give you more experience with sewing these techniques. The button band is actually drafted onto the shirt front. Now this makes it easier when you come to match your one-way print designs if you have a fabric that has a certain design such as a plaid or stripe. Now this pattern suggests the use of medium weight cottons including but not limited to cotton shirting, poplin, lawn, oxford, chambray and flannel. So to go with this Fairfield button-up shirt we have decided to pair it with two brilliant fabrics. The first one here being the Lady McElroy Marley cotton lawn fabric. Now this colour is in black, there are a few other variations and as you can see straight away it has these faces kind of hand-drawn all over this fabric. It gives such a great effect. We think it would look absolutely incredible as this Fairfield shirt. And what's more, it's 100% cotton. It's a woven fabric with non-stretch and it's very lightweight at 140 centimeters or 55.1 inches wide. It's slightly sheer and it means it's going to be very breathable on the skin if you're wearing this as a shirt. So alongside this cotton fabric with all the faces drawn on, we have chosen this Robert Kathman. Now this is a neon neppy chambray fabric. This is in charcoal grey and there are again a few other colourways on the website. Now what you can't really tell until you get close to this fabric is that there are these kind of speckles of neon yellow and pink all throughout this charcoal base. Again this is 100% cotton, it's a woven fabric with no stretch. Now this fabric is 107.5 centimetres or 42.3 inches wide. It has a medium weight and as you can see this would just look absolutely incredible as this Fairfield button-up shirt. It feels amazing on the skin. It has this nice soft finish to it and it doesn't feel like a normal cotton, kind of a stiff cotton fabric does. Even though this is 100% cotton, it still has that lovely drape to it and would look absolutely great in this Fairfield button-up shirt. The next pattern we are showing you today is the Strathcona Henley Top sewing pattern. Now this is listed as a beginner to intermediate skill level. As you can see there are two different variations for this pattern. We have version 1 with the 1 inch Henley style placket around the collar and version 2 which is a lot more similar to the classic short sleeve t-shirt look. Now this is such an easy pattern to get started with if this was one of your first projects. Long or short sleeves you can obviously mix and match between the variations to choose a style that fits you the best. There is also the option of the hem and the sleeves to be finished with a band which is a great choice for beginner sewers. This pattern suggests to use either light or medium weight fabrics depending on if you want a shirt or more of a lightweight sweater. If you want an easier to sew fabric, more stable knits such as wool blends, stretch woven athletic materials and thick t-shirt knits are obviously going to be a better choice. However, if you do want more of a challenge, you can choose a ribbed knits, thin t-shirt knits or a knit athletic material. Now, with that in mind, we have decided to pair it with these two really breathtaking fabrics. The first one here is this premium cotton. This is a jersey stretch knit fabric and this colour here is anthracite grey. Now straight away this feels absolutely incredible on the skin. It's a combination of 95% cotton and 5% spandex giving you that stretch of around 45% in the width and 40% in the length. At 148 or 58.3 inches wide, you certainly do get a lot of value for money with this fabric. This fabric is quite a stable jersey, making it a perfect choice for a beginner sewer, as it will be very easy to sew. 
This is perfect for t-shirts and tops and would look great in the Strathcona Headley pattern. Alongside this anthracite grey fabric, we have chosen this absolutely marvellous cotton jersey stretch knit fabric. This colour here is jeans blue and of course we do have a couple of other different colourways on our website to choose from. All on a white base, this is a combination of 95% cotton and 5% lycra, meaning that it has a good amount of stretch in all directions. This is a knit fabric with medium weight and coming in at 150 centimeters or 59.1 inches wide. Again, this fabric is such a great value for money. Both fabrics we have chosen to pair this pattern with are two very stable jersey knit fabrics, making them a lot easier to sell if this is your first project. Up next in our thread theory pattern haul, we have the Jutland pant sewing pattern. Now this is a classic relaxed fit straight leg trouser designed to be ready for anything. These pants are roomy enough to allow a full range of movement while still being slightly fitted with back darts to shape the seat. This pattern is listed as an intermediate skill level and with that in mind it does suggest a couple of different fabrics for each different variation. We have decided to pair it with two fantastic fabrics, the first one being this whale needle cord fabric and this is navy blue. Now it's almost like a corduroy fabric with this lovely lined texture. This is a machine washable, versatile and easy to sew fabric making it a perfect choice for many different sewing projects. Because it is a very durable fabric, it's also used a lot with children's clothes. We think it would also pair up great with this Jutland pant pattern, creating a professional pair of trousers that will withstand heavy wear for years to come. Alongside this navy blue fabric, we have also chosen to pair this pattern with this Gabacchino polycotton twill fabric. This colour here is a lovely subtle khaki. This has a fantastic feel on the skin. It's 80% polyester and 20% cotton, meaning this woven fabric has non-stretch. This is a medium weight fabric with a width of 147.5 centimetres or 58.1 inches. This fabric is between a gabardine and a chino, hence the name Gabacchino. This fabric comes in a wide range of colourways on our website, making sure there is a perfect choice for everyone's style. It has a twill weave, it's machine washable with easy care instructions and being easy to sew, making this fabric a perfect choice for your first sewing project. Up next, we have the Goldstream Peacoat sewing pattern. This has a few different variations, and as you can imagine, all of these added techniques makes it a more intermediate advanced sewing pattern. This is a great choice if you want to improve any of your skills or to also give yourself a challenge. This Goldstream Peacoat sewing pattern is extremely versatile and would suit anything from the classic navy wool with fouled anchor buttons right down to a rustic tweed with leather closures. With that in mind, this pattern suggests to use medium to heavyweight wools, especially any wool labelled coating. As well as this, you will have to keep in mind to choose a fabric of a weight that your sewing machine will easily be able to handle. Now for this sewing pattern, we have chosen to pair it with two astounding coating fabrics. The first one here, being this pure wool coating fabric. Now this colour here is baby blue. You can tell straight away the feel of this would make an incredible coat. Looking at it, you can see it's 100% wool and this has a slight 15% stretch in the width of the fabric. Now this is a heavyweight fabric, making it a perfect choice of fabric for the gold stream pea coat sewing pattern. A good point about this fabric also is because it has this incredible texture, Fusible interfacing may have difficulties fusing to this fabric, so therefore you would need to opt for a sewable interfacing option. So that's also good to know when you're gathering your materials to make this Goldstream pea coat. Alongside this 100% wool fabric, we have chosen to also pair this pattern with this vegan wool coating fabric. Now this is a navy blue colour. Again, it comes in a wide range of different colours on our website. This is a woven non-stretch fabric being 150 centimetres or 59.1 one inch as wide. With this fabric you would probably get away with using fusible interfacing as the texture of this fabric doesn't have a lot of height. Now this fabric has the look, feel and characteristics of wool fabric, however because it is made from a composition of 80% polyester 
18% viscose and 2% elastane, it means that this fabric is easy to sew, it's washable and is very easy to care for. It's perfect for winter coats to keep you warm, but it's also extremely practical as well, making it a great choice for the Thread Theory Goldstream Pico pattern. Up next, we have the Carmina sweater. This is part of the Alpine collection. There are a few different variations with or without a hood. There is an optional kangaroo pocket on the front. Now this is a true classic in the casual activewear wardrobe. Now the large yoke on the front and back is a perfect canvas for a choice of contrasting colour. Now this sewing pattern is listed as an intermediate skill level, which is a great choice if you want to give yourself a challenge and learn some new skills. It suggests fabrics such as sweatshirt knits, but also bear in mind that it would require a 10 percent minimum stretch for ease of movement around the arms. We have decided to pair this commoner sweater sewing pattern with two astounding knit fabrics. The first one being this loop back French terry stretch knit fabric. Now this colour is in navy. Now what you probably can't see until you get very close is this remarkable strip of gold either side of the small white strips. Now that gives this subtle blue and white stripe fabric this great pop of colour. It's a composition of cotton and spandex with a stretch of around 30% in the width and 50% in the length. This is a medium weight fabric which comes in a few different colours, making it a perfect choice should you want to choose a contrasting colour for the yoke. Alongside this French terry fabric, we have decided to pair this pattern with this fleece back sweatshirt stretch knit fabric. Now this colour here is dark melange, dark jade and this fabric comes in an extraordinary range of different colours, again making it a perfect choice should you want to choose different colours to mix and match the style with this sweater. It's a combination of 80% cotton and 20% polyester, giving it that subtle 15% stretch in the width and 10% stretch in the length. At 150 centimetres or 59.1 inches wide, this medium weight fabric sure gives you a lot of value for money. What's more is the wrong side of this fabric is this very soft, exuberant fleece fabric here, feeling absolutely amazing on the skin, making it a perfect choice for a sweatshirt or even this Carl Manor sweater sewing pattern. You can save this video to come back to later should you need the help on your next project. And remember, if you join the Minerva Craft Club, you will save 10% of all orders for the next 12 months. It's a great way to save money on your makes and also to support local, national and global charities. Up next, we have the Belvedere Waistcoat Sewing Pattern. This is from the Cityscape collection. There are a few different variations and each version has a slightly different skill level. You can choose variation one, which is an intermediate skill level, where you create a tailored waistcoat with welt pockets, a fully canvassed front and side seam vents. However, if you wanted more of a beginner level sewing pattern, you can choose variation two, where you can sew a quick and easy waistcoat with no pockets and simplified construction techniques. Now this pattern suggests to use light to medium weight suiting fabrics, such as wool or linen or blends of both. With that in mind, we have decided to pair this Belvedere waistcoat pattern with two of our tremendous suiting fabrics, the first one is this polyester viscose suiting fabric, and this is obviously a black and white. It has a composition of 65% polyester and 35% viscose. Now it's 145 centimetres or 57.1 inches wide, making this medium weight fabric a perfect choice for any suit or even the Belvedere waistcoat. This is such a timeless black and white design and would look great at any formal occasion. It also feels extremely soft on the skin, but of course you would be pairing this fabric with a contrasting or coordinating lining for this pattern. Alongside this black and white viscose polyester fabric, we are also choosing to pair this Belvedere waistcoat with this absolutely tremendous Lorex Tweed stretch woven suiting fabric. Now this colour is gold, there is also another option, but straight away you can see it has this glorious shimmer of gold when it catches the light. Now it's very subtle, but it would look absolutely incredible as a waistcoat at a formal event. Now this does have a slight 15% stretch in the width, meaning that it would be a comfortable choice for more of a 
fitted suit. This is a composition of 66% polyester, 32% rayon and 2% lurex. It's a woven fabric that is medium weight at 150 centimeters or 59.1 inches wide. We think it would be such a great pairing for either variation of the Belvedere waistcoat. Here we have the Saywood Raglan sewing pattern. Now this is a versatile Raglan t-shirt sewing pattern to create an everyday casual wear. The attractively curved Raglan seams paired with this relaxed crew neckline serves to create the flattering appearance of a strong chest. Now this sewing pattern is for a beginner skill level, making it a perfect choice if this is your first sewing project. The hems can be sewn using a zigzag stitch or a twin needle, and of course you can choose between full length sleeves or short sleeves that end mid bicep. If you were to choose a plain colour fabric, you can also play around with different contrasting colours for the sleeves, the front and the back, really making a unique style t-shirt for your wardrobe. Now this pattern does suggest to use light to medium weight knit fabrics with at least 20% stretch. Now for this Sayward Raglan pattern, we have decided to pair it with two miraculous print fabrics. This first one being this cotton jersey stretch knit fabric. Now this fabric is on a gray base, but as you can see, there are these cartoon fire engines all throughout this fabric, making it a very fun choice for this Sayward Raglan with a composition of 95% cotton and 5% elastic. Stain. This is a knit fabric with a stretch of around 40% on the width and 30% on the length. It's a medium weight fabric and at 150 centimetres or 59.1 inches wide, you certainly do get a lot of value for money with this fabric. Alongside this fire engine fabric, we have also chosen to pair this Sayward Raglan sewing pattern with this cotton stretch jersey knit fabric and this colour is navy and as you can see it has these very cute anchors all over this fabric. Again this fabric has a composition of 95% cotton and 5% lycra making it a perfect comfortable choice for any t-shirt pattern. This has a stretch of 35% both widthways and lengthways. It also comes in a red colour with white anchors on top and this medium weight fabric is 150 centimetres or 59.1 inches wide. This navy blue anchor fabric feels absolutely amazing on the skin making it a perfect choice for a t-shirt that would be comfortable to wear time and time again. This thin knit fabric is prone to curling at the edges, meaning that this would be more of a challenge to sew, but would still make a perfect t-shirt. Up next in our thread theory pattern haul, we have the Finlayson sweater. This Finlayson sweater is a grown-up version of the classic hoodie and will be a wardrobe staple due to its boxy shape and hard-wearing cuffed hems. Again, this is a great pattern choice if this is your first sewing project as it is listed as a beginner level. There are two different variations with this pattern. The first one featuring a unique squared neckline and stylish shawl collar. And the second one includes a roomy lined hood that crosses over at the front to join the square neckline. Now this pattern suggests to use medium to heavyweight knit fabrics. Of course, a contrast knit or woven fabric can be used for the decorative neck facing or the hood. And a separate ribbed knit fabric can also be used for the hems and the cuffs. Now with all that in mind, we have decided to pair this Finlayson and sweater sewing pattern with two absolutely gorgeous fabrics we have. The first one being this cable texture stretch knit fabric. Now this colour here is jeans blue however there is a wide range of colours to choose from on our website. It has a composition of 81% polyester, 16% viscose and 3% lycra giving it that great subtle stretch of around 30% in the width and 25% on the length. This knit fabric is 150 centimetres or 59.1 inches wide, making it a perfect choice for this Finlayson sweater. A great thing about this fabric is you can feel this slight raised texture of these different columns of almost leaf shapes. So as well as this textured stretch knit fabric, we have also decided to pair the Finlayson sweater pattern with this Mind the Maker organic jacket texture stretch knit fabric. 
Now this colour here is black and sand. It looks absolutely incredible in this almost zebra print mixed with a wood grain pattern. It's a composition of 95% organic cotton and 5% elastane, making this knit fabric have such a subtle stretch of 10% both lengthways and widthways. Now this medium to heavyweight fabric comes in a few different colour variations. They're not necessarily colours that you usually see together, however it does create such a unique gorgeous fabric. This fabric is 150 centimetres or 59.1 inches wide, making it a perfect choice for this Finlayson sweater pattern. It feels absolutely amazing and soft on the skin, and this heavy weight, more stable knit fabric would be a lot easier to sew with if this is one of your first sewing projects. Up next, we have number 13 in the Thread Theory Design Collection. Now, I'm lucky for some, but this Eastwood Pajamas sewing pattern is a perfect choice for your first project. This is obviously listed as a beginner skill level. Now, this is a classic pajama pant with the choice of some mix and match details to suit many wearers. They feature an enclosed elastic Plastic waistband with the option of a drawstring to further perfect the fit. These pants will teach you many of the essential techniques used for sewing trousers and jeans in the future. So this pattern suggests to use fabrics that are light to medium weight wovens such as quilting cottons, flannel, shirting, linen or other comfortable and breathable natural materials. Of course, it's your choice whether you want to choose a plain fabric or a fabric with more of a colourful design. So we have decided to actually show you just how crazy you could go with your designs. But first we have this 100% cotton fabric and this is obviously red and cream. But straight away you can see this incredibly fun lobster print pattern. You will struggle finding something as unique as this anywhere else. This is a perfect choice for the Eastwood pyjamas as it would look absolutely great as a pair of pyjama pants. This woven fabric is non-stretch, however there is a slight stretch on the bias naturally, meaning that it will be a comfortable but not baggy fit. This medium weight fabric is 112 centimetres or 44.1 inches wide. Alongside this crazy crustacean print, we have also chosen probably a more subtle pattern. This is the Rosen Hubble cotton poplin fabric. Now this is a navy base, and as you can see, it has all of these very delightful stars throughout the pattern. Now, it looks like the night sky. It comes in a couple of different colour variations, so there really is something to suit everyone's style. It is 100% cotton, a woven fabric with non-stretch, but again, similar to this lobster fabric, there is a slight stretch on the bias, meaning that it will be such a comfortable choice for the Eastwood pyjama sewing pattern. It's a very similar choice to this lobster fabric at 112.5 centimetres or 44.3 inches wide. This medium weight fabric is very breathable. It feels so soft on the skin. But of course, the beauty of choosing a fabric with these stars or lobsters kind of dotted around the fabric, you don't really need to put much attention into lining them up at the seams. Now, last but most certainly not least in our thread theory pattern haul is the Quadra Jeans sewing pattern. Now, as you can imagine, sewing jeans, this is more of an intermediate skill level. However, the Quadra Jeans sewing pattern provides a subtle modern take on the classic straight leg jean. This pair of jeans features a slight taper to the leg and extra room in the thigh to allow a lot of movement. And you can sew these jeans in denim with no stretch or up to 2% elastane to add just that little bit of additional flexibility that so perfectly suits an active lifestyle. Of course, there are a lot of intermediate techniques in the sewing pattern, so this is a great choice if you want to challenge yourself with a more advanced sewing project. Now, it's obviously a lot harder for a sewing machine to deal with multiple layers of heavyweight fabrics so it's great to test at the very beginning if your sewing machine can handle at least five layers of whichever fabric you choose to use. 
Now, of course, the most common fabric we would choose to pair this pattern with would be this 270 grams per square meter washed cotton denim fabric. Now, as you can see, this is a dark navy blue with a composition of 100% cotton. This is a woven denim fabric with non-stretch and is 150 centimeters or 59.1 inches wide. This medium weight denim fabric would be a perfect choice for the quadrate jeans sewing pattern, giving you that very timeless classic look. We have decided to pair this quadrant jean sewing pattern with the Mind the Maker cotton twill fabric. Now this is the black variation and there are also some other different colorways to choose from, meaning that there will be something to suit everyone's look. This is 100% organic cotton. It's a woven non-stretch fabric. Now the great thing about this fabric is it is actually 160 centimeters or 63 inches wide, making it a super wide fabric, meaning that you get a lot of value for money with this fabric. This medium weight twill is a perfect choice for the quadrant jeans and feels extremely soft on the skin. It would be such a great durable choice for a trouser pattern. So there we have our thread theory pattern haul. We hope you found something to inspire you on your next make. As always, all of the patterns and fabrics mentioned in this video will be tagged down below so that you can easily find them. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments and we will get back to you. Here at Minerva, it's our passion to connect makers worldwide. So if you are interested in starting any of the patterns we've shown in this video, please tag them in your posts. We love to see what you create from start to finish. Of course, you can follow us here at Minerva for more videos like this one. And until next time, thank you for watching.